And we're back. Yeah? Yep. The next fight has been set. Wait a sec. Why the hell are you telling me this over the phone? Why? Because I cannot decide what to wear to the association's party tonight. Big shots from across the nation will be there. This is serious business. So serious that I'm going to spray perfume on every square inch of my body. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> right, right. Your next opponent. Head. Is, it, is, that a, is that a Lucha the body school? pillow? And then what? Uh, it's definitely a body pillow. It's hard to see what's about, on it. I think. What do you mean you think? You know, you really suck at your job. Life is more important than some job. Wow. That is why I am busy shopping right now. You, on the other hand, are busy killing people. Because Accurate. All you, ever do. What? you know, and odd jobs to afford well, killing people. Also, not. jerking off to anime. Okay. Probably. I'm Probably. Assuming. It's heavily implied. Oh, that looks really cool. Yeah. Stylish as shit. That's what this game is. All right. The room. Okay. Now I think you should have the map marker. Yeah. Yeah. This, that kind of quality of life stuff. Oh, yeah. Talk to that cat. Oh, you know what? I th we should probably go yeah, to right. the turlet. Too. There we go. Yeah. Eat that kitty food. Yo, eat up, kid cat. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, all this quality of life stuff, like the fact that you have to go to the ATM, then drive to your apartment, and then drive to the map marker. Like, all that stuff is greatly improved in the sequel, as I recall. It makes you jump through a lot fewer hoops to get to the fun. We gonna poop. We're pooping. That is the sound of pooping. The sound of pooping is uh, my favorite off-brand Weird Al Sound of Silence cover. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, toilet, my old friend. <laughs> I've come to dump in you again. <laughs> that's as much of that song as I know. Because <laughs> that's the the thing which was Arrested Development? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was the thing that was a gag in Arrested Development. And other places. That got kind of meme yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so anything else? I don't think we need anything here. Um, You know what? Go back into the bedroom real quick. Uh, Let's just go to that drawer and just double check. That we have the new one? Yeah, that yeah, you have the I, new I, one equipped. I did equip. think about that, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it auto-equipped -equip it when you bought it, but... Tsubaki. Tsubaki, yeah. The original was Bloodberry. Yeah. He I also, won it in a net auction. Yeah, he, he, he won a lightsaber on eBay. That is dope. Okay, so I don't I don't know if there's anything necessarily about this that Okay. Well All right. That handle's huge. Yeah. Alright, dude. Let's yep. go. Let's do it. I am ready to murder a guy. We've spent so many episodes getting ready just to murder this motherfucker. Okay, there cool. we go. Okay. Down the stairs. For a hot second, I forgot that it's... That, that you... the, the rankings go in reverse order. So, eight is actually the third fight. I'm like, ranking battle, eight. Holy shit. This is... Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I remember. The, uh, the blinking uh, Roman numeral. Where's this guy located? Ah. All right. Okay, yeah, down there by the uh, odd jobs. Ah, ah. Oh, yeah, it's right by my work. Ah. Palm trees are ugly anyway. Ah! You know, I don't think palm trees are ugly. I think they remind us of places like L.A. where ugly people live. Oh. I mean, inside. Yeah, they basically let anyone there. Yeah. I mean, because... 
because the entertainment industry is there. On the outside, people are far more attractive per capita than the national average. Yeah, but then you go to like a place like Melbourne, Australia, and then everyone's beautiful. That's one of the things I noticed almost instantly. And then... Ah, dang it, <laughs> crash like that. Screw it, I'm off. I can't crash like that is my favorite... Crisscross B-side. Oh shit, it's this chick! Yep, Shinobu. She's the one who's a playable character in the sequel. And that sounded like a real dope selling point until you get to the level where she's playable and then you realize, oh god, why? Finally, the murders that we crave. And while Scott commits those murders... Oh shit, are we gonna check back with... Let's check in with pretentious 2008 Ben. He says, First and foremost, Travis kills for the thrill of it. The first few opponents he faces fall squarely into the classic archetype of the killer with a poet's soul. They wax philosophical about the deeper meaning in what they do. Travis has little patience for this sort of sentimentalizing. There is, he says, no sense or meaning in killing others. He does it for the thrill, for the fun, and that should be enough. This reminds me more than a little of the hardcore gamer's credo. Plot, character, theme, even graphics are of secondary importance. The first and foremost consideration is always the gameplay. The top priority, always the fun. Secondly, Travis kills out of sheer competitiveness. Like a twisted parody of a shonen action hero, he won't stop until he's number one. He smack talks and showboats constantly, a grown-up version of that prepubescent voice hurling racial and sexual epithets that it doesn't understand over Xbox Live. And thirdly, he does it for the sex. He and Sylvia have a running bet that she'll sleep with him if he makes it to the top spot, a fact she brings up to ward off his constant attempts to snatch a little pre-victory sugar. It's a delicious twist on the classic Save the Princess cliché. There aren't many non-playable women in video games, and precious few playable ones for that matter, less in need of saving than Sylvia. But I always got the impression that there was more to Mario and Link's constant rescuing of their flames than the greater good of the Mushroom Kingdom and Hyrule respectively. They clearly expected to get the girl in a very physical sense as well. No More Heroes simply cuts through the bullshit and makes the subtext a little more obvious. Wow, I'm sure Pretentious 2008 Ben was the first person to uh, <laughs> to reach that deep and cutting insight into the subtext of uh, gender politics in video games. Such a such an innovative. <laughs> I feel like of, I learn a little oh no, more about geez. you every time. <laughs> Best part is, yeah, this was so close to the beginning of us even meeting each other. Yep. I wouldn't even. I'm not even sure we were like would have technically qualified as friends at that point. No, I. We were definitely acquaintances. Yeah, I mean, I we know each other well enough that that when I decided to to do this, I did not have any trouble getting a hold of the the machinima thing. I mean, yeah, I did not have any trouble getting a hold of you to say, hey, would you like to do a voice for this thing? Yeah, well, at that point you were. If that were 2008, mm. let's see, because that would been yeah, yeah, dude, GDVA would have been starting. Ah. Uh, yeah, we started in 2008. Wow. Yeah, it's 10 years next year. Huh. This would have been... Huh. I think this would have been early in the same year that we... And I, and I definitely would have known you then. Yeah. Why did I do that? I wonder where I sent you that message. Like, would it have been over Twitter? Would it have been a private... It no, it was Skype. Was it Skype? Okay. Yeah. yeah, it was over Skype. Okay, then yeah, we were at least on speaking terms. You know, I, I if it sounds weird, I don't feel like I became friends with you until we started, like, hanging out with each other. Because, mm -hmm. like, on Skype, it was like, yeah, we knew each other and we talked to each other. Yeah. But when you got out here, it's like, oh, shit, yeah, let's hang out. Yeah, yeah, like, since... 
since moving here, like, obviously, I wouldn't have moved here if I didn't know you to some extent. Oh, yeah, but... obviously. You were at my wedding. Yeah, absolutely. So we were certainly friends by then, but I I feel like we've become really close friends since I've yeah. moved, out, moved out here. Okay, like, so for me, for me, yeah, what it really feels like is, like, you and I became friend friends, where I was like, yeah, we're friends. Yeah. My husband, like, my husband's definition, like, my husband's wall for friend is pretty high. I think mm. I, I think that's, uh, that has rubbed off on me. Yeah, no, I hear you. But, yeah, I remember the first time we met in person, too, um, which was when you were moving from California to... Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I was moving from California to Louisiana, and I stayed at your place. Yeah, I, I remember... I vividly remember that Skype conversation because you said, hey, you know, I'm I'm making this move and I'm going to be passing through and would it be cool if we, you know, if we met each other because we'd never met in person at that point. Yeah. And then I remember, I remember you said, and now I have to ask something that might sound a little awkward and this is the way I remember it. See if you remember it the same way. This might be one of those things that I'm remembering wrong, but I remember thinking like, oh, he needs a place to crash. And I remember thinking, should I make him ask the question or should I just say, oh, you need a place to crash? Yeah, that's cool. And the way I remember it was, was I said, no, I'm not gonna be a dick. I'm not make, gonna make him sweat it. I'm just gonna say, do you need to crash at my place? And, and that's the way it happened. But do you remember if that's the way it happened or if I made you ask the question first? I actually don't remember. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to stick with my memory of me being a good person and not making you sweat. Because <laughs> I am the kind of person who in a situation like that will sometimes... It's, it is a minor piece of dickishness, <laughs> but will sometimes be a minor oh, dick. And piece of garbage, I will destroy your asshole. <laughs> Yeah, we'll sometimes make people ask the question. I remember staying at your place the first time we went up for sushi, then um, uh, then I remember I was I, I I was having trouble sleeping, so I think we ended up playing like what was it, New Mario Brothers? Yeah, on the Wii. Yep. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I remember you barely slept, and you'd been driving all day, and you were going to be driving all day the next day, and I felt... I don't know, we we had never met each other in person. I wanted the chance to actually hang with you, but I also felt bad that... I, I got a little bit of sleep, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Well, and you left so early that morning, like, I'm, I was kind of like, man, is he going to be okay? That's a lot of driving to do on not a lot of sleep. Yeah, I was really excited, because, uh... I, that that was when I was moving to Lake Charles, Louisiana, aka, in with my now husband. Right. Um, so yes. Ah, yeah. All right. Uh, is there anything else? I don't think I need to get that now. Yeah, I think that's just there for if you get zippy zapped with that yep. flyer. Okay. So yeah, you should be okay to move on. I think. I think this might be it. Oh, wait, no. There's always that long. What are you doing? Where's the water? I think that's what that spray is supposed to be. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Uh -oh. You're gonna die. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Get out of my way, you assholes. I wonder if... This is one of those, like, I think you're doing the right thing by just powering through this, but... Okay. Yep. There we go. All right. But in the back of my head, it's like, oh, man, are you supposed to be, like fighting these guys with kicks or gimped controls no, or something. No, okay. I, I clicked everything. There was nothing I could do. Okay, good. I'm... <laughs> oh, like you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, so yeah, now you get the satisfaction of... Oh, yeah, because uh, now I have to go... Yeah, but... I have to go all the way back through. Yep. No, that's fine. I was just afraid, like, oh, God, are you supposed to be killing these guys and you're fucking yourself over by kiting them all to the end? But no, you're fine. Good. <laughs> 
And you're both dead. Yeah. Sevens! Come on, asshole. Oh, Ooh. okay, he came. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that, uh, that trip would have been... Like, maybe right after season one of DBZA, because I remember yes. over dinner we were talking shop and... I think you were talking about the different ideas that uh, that you guys had had about how to handle raccoon. Yeah, um, actually, it, it was it was definitely uh, I, because I recorded, I edited an episode at least twelve in Lake Charles. You're gonna die. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that because my computer was actually like. I, I was, oh man, I was sitting on the ground in like, uh, in front of the entertainment center where my monitor was, my computer right by it. I used to type with my uh, keyboard in my lap. That lasted for at least a, a couple months. Come on, assholes. Oh, god dang it. Come to think of it now, I wonder which came first then, because... Because the other early thing that we, if you want to call it, worked on together, um... Is you definitely made made the intro to, uh, Gantz Abridged. I think I did that while I was in, uh, Lake Charles. Okay. But yeah, that... Some of that early timeline of... Everything, everything just kind of, like, yeah. runs together. Yeah, a lot of it's kind of fuzzy in my memory. But then I'll remember really specific things, like that conversation on Skype where you asked to crash on my couch. <laughs> yeah, at the time I was actually a little bit hesitant because I always imagined that you were... Uh, the reason that it was hard for me to consider you a friend friend at that time mm -hmm. wasn't because I didn't like you. Actually, it was because I thought you were way cooler and older and more mature than me. <laughs> and so the entire time I was like, he doesn't he doesn't want to hang out with me. I'm not mature enough. I'm not cool enough. Oh, well, let that be a lesson to all you kids in the audience. Like, when you get up in your head about that stuff, like, take a chance. Try and try and be friends with people. Sometimes you'll make some of your best friends that way. Yeah. Cause yeah, I I certainly never felt that way. <laughs> I've then again, I, I like for the longest time I never thought I was as cool or like neat as, or talented as anybody in the group. Oh, oh, oh. Triple kill. Ring that bell. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right, yo, yo. Try not to get fucking murdered, dude. At least a little bit. Hey, watch out, you might have to, uh. Oh, actually. Oh uh, no, there's quite a few guys here. Yeah, you might have to recharge your saber soon. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, actually there are chests over there. Yeah, there we go. Save yourself that jacking. Uh, yep, there we yeah, go. Yeah, now you got it. Ha <laughs> and... Just hit him! <laughs> Jesus! But yeah, no, I I very specifically asked you to play the part of Travis in that little machinima skit because I wanted something to work with you on because I'd seen your stuff, uh, the, the Lupin stuff, and loved it, and it seemed like a nice, like, it's just a one-shot. If it, you know, just because you like somebody else's work doesn't necessarily mean you'll do good work together. So it seemed like a nice low-impact, low-pressure, like... If it turns out this is a really sucky experience for either or both of us, then no harm, no foul. Oh, man, come on. 
Get out of here. Oh, God. Hey. No, no, no. Please tell me that's the last of you. <laughs> oh. We got these guys. Hold on. Yep. All right. Yep. Yep, there we go. Rub one out real quick. Push it to the red. Push it to the max. Push it to the limit. limit. Oh, okay. Oh. That, that's quite go as planned. It, it looked cool. <laughs> Still haven't quite... I'm not quite sure what triggers that little question mark or what it's purpose is, gameplay-wise. I think it's when I dodge something. Ah. Get out of here. And the way I recorded the footage for that little sketch was, was weird, too. I had... I remember you told me about that. Yeah. Yep. And I will finish that story next time. I'm no more snipers. Snipers, snipe a dope. Da derp. Derp derp. All right.